Hello, I'm Mike from MusicRadioCreative.com. All this week on my Mike Russell VIP paid channel and also here on my free channel, I'm doing some shortcuts and navigation kind of tips in Adobe Audition. This is all thanks to Jason Arnold. He wrote in to me and said, Hey Mike, great content, definitely really enjoying what you're doing on the VIP channel. First channel I've ever paid for two. Thank you, Jason. Uh, now he said, if you're looking for ideas, feedback, suggestions, one thing I would love to learn from you is maybe top five or ten keyboard shortcuts and or mouse gestures that you use to manipulate the waveforms and navigate around Audition so quickly. He goes on to say that he's an Audacity user, but he reckons Audition is pretty fantastic and definitely worth spending the $20 a month for. Uh, so there we go. Thank you very much, Jason. Really appreciate the kind comments and for getting in touch with me. Let's take a look at some trips, trips and ticks. <laughs> Tips and tricks. I'm going to leave that in. I think that sounded funny. Um, so, yeah, yesterday on my Mike Russell VIP channel, I gave you a guide on how to move audio and waveforms around the multitrack. Uh, again, tomorrow on Mike Russell VIP, I will show you how to do some really cool uh, gestures on your mouse to really navigate very fast around the multitrack. But here on my free channel, I'd like to show you the waveform view. Here's a nice pink audio waveform and a couple of tips and tricks. Okay, we're going to do exactly three of them. So stand by and I'll show you what I'm doing on the mouse at the time I do it so you can get to grips with it. First of all, I can increase or decrease the size of the waveform so I can really see something. If it's really quiet, I can zoom in or zoom it right the way down if it looks a little bit distorted. This will not affect the volume of the audio, it just simply makes the waveform bigger or smaller. In order to do that, take the mouse, go over to the very right hand bar here, which is the volume measurement bar, and then I simply, with my magic Apple mouse, scroll up to make it smaller, or down like that to make it bigger. Up, smaller, down, bigger, and of course set it back to where it was again at the very start, okay? Up and down on the magic mouse. Now, if I want to zoom into a point in time, I would then select that point in time, say here, and again, down to zoom in, up to zoom out, down to zoom in, and up to zoom out. So if I go all the way down, look at how close you can get to this wave. You can get so close, you can actually see the individual edit points of that wave. Stunning stuff, uh, the kind of detail you can go into in Adobe Audition. And finally, the last tip for the Adobe Audition waveform view, if I want to move along in time, as you can see, I can't currently see the full audio, I would slide across either way on my magic mouse like this. This way to the left is going to start scrolling through in time and back to the right, I'm going to be scrolling all the way back in the audio waveform. So I hope that's given you an idea of how to very quickly navigate and manipulate the waveform view of Adobe Audition. Make sure you tune into Mike Russell VIP tomorrow where I will show you how to do some really fast stuff inside the multi-track of Adobe Audition.